as refreshing as the king's daughters arriving on the Nouvelle France pier, and as light as their hearthy laughter, Blonde de Chambly is a tribute to the young women who came from far away to build a new country. In the old days in Nouvelle France, men worked hard. Some roamed the wood for their fur trades, some clear land to farm, others yet protected the territory. Most were single, free and alone to face the inhuman challenges they met. For all those men, the days were long and exhausting. They gave all they had to survive in a hostile environment and quickly drifted off to sleep once night had fallen. But they were missing the one essential thing in life. The key to happiness, the love and warmth of a lovely creature. In 1663, the King of France decided to send them a contingent of single women willing to immigrate to the new land to get married and start a family. Coming off the boat after a long journey, these young ladies not only brought with them an important dowry offered by the king, but they also brought their zest of life, the pleasure of love and hope for a better life. It is estimated that in some 10 years, around 800 of these king's daughters, as they were called, settled in Nouvelle France. Many of the young ladies were wedded to officers and soldiers from the Carignan Salière regiment and made their home of the fertile land defended by Captain Jacques de Chambly. By their men's side, these strong lasses built a new country by pouring their heart and soul into their works, but also, most of all, by their dedication to the demands of myth of motherhood and their sacrifices to the pains of childbirth. Without them and their essential contribution, the colony could never have survived and grown to become what it is today. Today, by the banks of the Richelieu River, we brew Blonde de Chambly to honor the memory of these blooming young women with light hearts and sparkling smiles, a lively and cheerful ale that fills the heart with courage and brings hope to the soul. <laughs>